Hello and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by CG Art. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a CG environment like the one you see here from scratch using uh, both Maya and Blender. So a lot of topics to cover. I'll show you how to uh, sculpt the ground and uh, paint some texture, uh, some textures on it. From there, I'm going to take you to Maya to finish the rest of uh, the work. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open a new scene in Blender. In my case, uh, I'm using uh, version 2.76b, which I believe uh, the latest version, which you can download from blender.org for free. Okay, so it's an open source uh, program. So make sure to uh, delete all these guys here because we don't need them. Also, uh, switch from uh, Blender Render to Cycles, just in case. Okay, so hit Shift A. To add mesh plane which is gonna be uh, our ground later on so we're gonna sculpt it now hit s to scale our mesh here okay so uh, now uh, it's time it's, it's time for uh, sculpting and to sculpt you have to switch from uh, object mode to uh, sculpt mode but first we're gonna add some uh, subdivisions so uh, go to edit mode either by a switch it from here so switch from object mode to edit mode from here or you can hit uh, your uh, tab key on your keyboard and uh, you will be good uh, to go okay so hit W to subdivide W and we're gonna uh, subdivide it a few times okay now it's time to sculpt so go to sculpt mode hit control but first we need to make some adjustments for uh, the brush, uh, the sculpt draw brush is going to work fine. So F sculpt draw brush, make sure to select to select it. Also make sure to turn off the uh, symmetry. So go to symmetry lock, mirror X, turn off uh, the uh, mirror X. And some artists prefer to work with Dynetopo enabled. Okay, in my case, uh, I'm not gonna uh, work with uh, it so if you want to try it you, you first need to enable it from here and switch from relative detail to constant detail and that's gonna uh, add some uh, resolution when sculpting okay so hit control to push so we want to push to create the uh, river base Also, you can uh, strengthen up the value here to something like 0.7 or so. Hit uh, control to push. And create something uh, like this. Now, for uh, the sake of uh, this tutorial, I'm not going to take too much sculpting. Feel free to uh, spend a lot uh, of time sculpting if you want to have uh, better results. Okay, so <coughs> now we're gonna create some uh, hills around. Okay, so just click and you're gonna uh, pull on your mesh. So uh, left click in my case so if you want to work with the left mouse button go to user preferences and switch from uh, go to to input first and then switch from uh, right to left okay
now uh, it's time to unwrap UVs so we need to unwrap UVs in order to paint some uh, textures on our mesh here so go to uh, top perspective view by hitting the key uh, 7 on your keyboard top perspective view from there uh, go back to edit mode hitting uh, tab or switch it from here and make sure all vertices are uh, selected otherwise <laughs> hit a a few times okay now hit u to unwrap so you unwrap uv's now uh, it's time to assign some uh, textures so as you uh, noticed here <coughs> our mesh turned uh, to pink that's because it doesn't have uh, some uh, textures assigned so go uh, to add paint slot click and pick this guy here it says diffuse color okay <coughs> now feel free to uh, play around with uh, these values of width and height in my case i'm gonna stick with the uh, default values and hit okay okay so uh we're gonna bring uh, our uh, textures so go to uh, this uh, checker pattern shelf or uh, texture menu here so it's called texture and make sure to switch from uh, image texture to brush okay so it's very important to switch it to brush hit new and open now in my case I'm gonna use uh, two uh, textures one for the uh, river base and the other for uh, hills okay so it should be inside the texture fol uh, textures folder in my case ground no it's not ground this array I'm gonna pick this guy here this uh, image and uh, start painting okay so it's very simple and don't uh, forget to strengthen up the value here to one okay <coughs> now the reason why I'm using blender is because it has uh, this unique feature which I'm working with right now so you can't simply uh, paint textures on uh, meshes in Maya okay I mean you can uh, do the same work using Maya and Photoshop okay or uh, Maya and Mudbox or even ZBrush Some uh, sculpting programs and make sure to uh, select some uh, seamless uh, textures otherwise you'll have uh, to face the uh, problems I'm facing uh, right now so I have to work with uh, seams also we can uh, go back to object mode tools okay tools and uh, shading smooth we're gonna smooth our mesh there is another option here in uh, side modifiers menu so go to modifiers add modifier and pick subdivision surface okay and I'm gonna apply hit apply go back to uh, texture paint mode and work with uh, seams here <laughs> you 
Okay, so we're gonna uh, bring the uh, second uh, texture. So go to uh, texture tab or uh, scroll down here to texture. So scroll down to texture and make sure to uh, click this uh, plus sign button and open the uh, the second uh, texture which is in my case inside the uh, textures folder ground this guy here uh, it's mud uh, textures texture sorry Now I'm gonna pause the video for a while to finish the river base and uh, work with the uh, seams you see here. These uh, seams, okay. All right. So I forgot to mention that if you want to. Uh, play with the uh, RGMB values of your uh, texture go to colors and uh, put some values here also you can uh, adjust your brightness or contrast or even uh, saturation okay and uh, now I think it's time to uh, move on also if you uh, for example uh, make a mistake and want to uh, go back to the first or the second texture to fix it <coughs> all what you need to do is uh, click this guy here this one uh, and the image and choose your uh, first or second texture and fix it as simple as that okay <coughs> nothing is hard make sure also to uh, uh, to select or to pick some uh, seamless textures okay <coughs> now we've done uh, painting uh, textures and the uh, skirting we should uh, export our mesh to uh, obj format as an obj format so go to file export uh, wavefront dot obj okay also you can uh, export it as an fpx uh, format okay <coughs> and uh, I'm gonna make a new uh, folder I'm gonna call it uh, blender maybe so blender export as obj also I'm gonna export or I'm gonna save the uh, final texture so this one I'm gonna export it so go to uh, switch or switch from 3d view to uh, UV image editor pick your uh, final texture in my case uh, it's called diffuse color this one go to image and sa uh, save as uh, image or hit F3 button okay F3 key I'm gonna uh, save it in the same folder okay now it's time to uh, move on to Maya where we're gonna uh, finish uh, the rest of uh, the scene so we're gonna create some nature assets also we're gonna uh, use uh, paint effects to create some uh, trees and grass 
glasses okay we do or we gonna make some uh, sculpts sculpting using the unique uh, tool inside Maya I'm gonna show show it to you later on and we we do the uh, lighting uh, or we, we lighten up uh, our scene okay so see you next video